my name's Maggie. Hi, I'm Miss Jen. We're going to show you um, some activities with buttoning and snapping and how to make those things easier for you. So the first thing we're going to do is you want to start with larger buttons. Mm -hmm. So the kind of buttons that come on a vest are a good starting point. You want to always have the vest or the shirt, whatever you're working with, positioned the same way that the child would see it when they were putting it on their body. So we're going to do it like this. We're going to start with unbuttoning first since that's an easier skill. And we're going to tell Maggie some verbal cues to use so that she can do this. For this one, we want to pinch the button, pull, and then dive in. And then she's going to do the same thing. Pinch, pinch pull, dive. dive. Pinch, pinch, pull, pull dive. dive. Pinch, pinch, pull, pull dive. dive. Now, once we get good with that, we can work on buttoning. And the same thing, we want to work on giving her a verbal cue to make it easier. We can pinch it, push it, slide it through. Here's the cookie, his mouth open. Or we can say, yep, it's the cookie yeah. and the cookie monster is going to eat the cookie. There's the cookie and the cookie monster is going to eat the cookie. Good job. And we're working on pinching with our pinchers mm -hmm. that button and using that other hand to hold the fabric and then pulling it through. There. Great. So once we get good with the medium buttons, then we can go to the, the smaller little. button, right? The little buttons that are on her shirt. Same thing. We want it facing the same way that she would see it when she's doing it. These are gonna be a little bit tougher, so you might have to give her some help. So you're gonna unbutton first again. So unbutton, we're gonna pinch that, pinch, pinch the button, it, pull the shirt, dive in. Button. Ready? Good. Pinch, pinch pull, pull, dive. dive. And depending on what positional pinch, terms the child pull, knows, dive. like over, under, through, in, you might have to be creative with how you say these things. Now, now when she's putting these back together, we want to make sure they're lined up. that they're, yes, lined up. And that we're, this time though, we're going to start when it's on her and when it's off her, we want to start from the bottom and work our way to the top just to make sure they stay in line. So let's see, let's find our first button, find our first hole, yep. So we're going to pinch that button, push it in, push, push, push. And if she needs a little bit of help because these are tricky, we can give her some help by opening the hole in the shirt. Oh, I got it. You don't have to help me. Okay. Oh, it's a little bit hard, but I just have to push. There we go. There you go. Good job. Nice. Now, and then she would work her way. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Use those pinchers. Oh, God. <laughs> So I can help her by doing this. Get your button, use your pinchers. I'm gonna open it for you. Push it in and pull. There we go. All right, and then she'll work her way all the way to the top. <clears throat> now we also wanna make sure, this is a pretty distracting shirt. So we really wanna make sure that we have non-distracting materials. So this one, the yellow and blue would have been really good since there are only two colors in it. The same thing's going to apply to snapping. We want to start with unsnapping first. So we're going to take apart. Good. Using two hands. Good. Now once we get good with that, we want to work on snapping. So we might tell her the shiny side goes on top. We want to line the circle up. And we're going to use our butterfly fingers, which and are the push. thumbs and our pinchers, and squeeze or push. So shiny side on top, line it up, line and it up. Push. push. The thing that we don't want to do is use one hand and push it on the table like this because we really need two hands when we're doing snapping. So shiny on top, line, and push. And voila. Oh, almost. Uh, Try again. Okay. Got to push really hard. Use those butterfly fingers. It sound like it. Does. Squeeze. Nice. There. Now, something I made that came in real handy I cut the waistband out of a pair of jeans so that we can work on pulling a little bit tighter to snap because a lot of times that's the problem is not doing the buttoning but actually pulling and then snapping together. And to make this harder, you can wrap it around something. So start with just doing it by itself. We're using two hands, squeeze and push. You wanna show them how you do that? Yes, okay. Yep, two hands, line it up, good, all together. Then, to make it a little harder, she can put this in her lap. She can use this, a puzzle, anything that's big, a diaper wipes, anything to wrap this around. We want to teach her that the tag goes in the bag. Oh, a diaper white yep. bag? Yep, 
Now yeah. she's going to pull that material like she's going to snap her pants when they're on her, line it up, and squeeze. Awesome. Just another way to practice. Voila. Now we're going to talk about some activities that you can do at home to work on using those pinchers and strengthening those fingers and using those two hands together. So our first thing is going to be just taking any kind of container you have at home, like this almond container I have, making a slit in the top using, I happen to have these little tokens here, but you can use poker chips, you can use coins, buttons, whatever you want. She's going to use those pincher fingers and press it into the slit right here. And she can work on dragging it off the table and pinching it. And we want to use the pinchers. Remember, just thumb and index finger. There you go. Good. Awesome. So that is this. Another thing I made is I have a bubble gum container and I have some buttons. You can do the same thing here. This one is cool because it opens up like this and we can hold it with one hand. The other hand, we're going to grab our buttons and remember we're going to use our pinchers just like this. Oh, and if we have, do. right, slide it and put it in. Or if we have a hard time really using those pinchers, we can tell the child to hold a pom-pom or anything in these last three fingers, squeeze those, and then all we have left are those butterfly fingers to use. So ready, pinch, good, and then push in. Good, that makes it a little bit trickier, right? All you can do. Oh, hold slide. those three fingers. Remember, just butterfly fingers. There you go. Slide, pick up. Oh, you can do this. Yep, that's right. You keep those butterfly fingers nice. Good, and then something, another thing we can do with our buttons, actually, that we forgot to do is we can take an ice tray. This is a little bit different than you might have at home. And we can take buttons again or coins, whatever. We'll just start with four. She's going to pick them up with her pinchers and drop them in. We'll just do four. So this is really going to work on isolating those um, pincher fingers. So we're going to have some putty too. Putty, Play-Doh, anything. We can kind of roll it out ahead of time and have it lined up like this. And then Maggie's going to show us how she gets it with her index and her thumb finger, and then she presses it into the putty. So show me three of those. Well, it's hard. There you go. Press it into that putty. It's two more. Press. Good. Index, pincher, and press in the putty. Awesome. Great job. So something else we can keep our putty out for is if you have a toothpick container at home that has the little holes on the top, you can do two different, a couple different things with it. But what I'm going to show you, we're going to put that top on, we're going to open it to the little holes and she's going to work on, wait, not yet. She's going to work on just using her pinchers and putting them in the holes. So go ahead, Maggie, show me four of those. So a little bit of eye-hand coordination here and fine motor. Good, last one. Then the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this toothpick, which you have to be kind of careful with it's because sharp. it's sharp. And we're going to here, how about we fold it and make it thicker? So yeah. press that toothpick in the Play-Doh, putty, whatever you have. And then what do we have? Since we didn't have any beads for the house, we have some Cheerios, which are perfect for this. She can work on using those pinchers that she needs for buttoning. And she can slide them on her toothpick. So let's do like four of those, okay? All right. Nice. All right. Something else that we can do to practice. One more. All right. Last one. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Perfect. Ends up looking like this. Just don't eat them. Yeah. All right. The last thing we can do with this, with buttoning, is we can have three different um, types of material. You can do it with felt, whatever you want. So I have part of a washcloth I cut. This is like cardboard from a goldfish box. 
and this is just a note card. So I cut rectangles of each and I just put a little slit in the middle. What she's going to do is push it in one side and then pull it out the other, just like you would buttoning. So the easiest is going to be the cloth right here. And then the next would be the note card. And then the last, the hardest would be the um, goldfish cardboard. So let Maggie show you how she pushes it here. She's going to hold it with one hand, push it in, grab it with her other hand. That's pretty easy, right? Yeah, it's pretty The hole might be a little small. I don't know. Yeah. You might have to have a smaller button. Good. Yeah. Grab it with that hand. Perfect. All right. Now she can show you how she does it with the note card with the hole in. Same thing. Hold it with one hand. Push. And then when she gets it in, she's going to grab it with her other hand. Good. Now the hardest one. You pick which button you want. You can also, like I said, do it with felt or paper or anything you want to. Good job. All right. Last two things we have. You can always use clothespins for so much. Maggie had her idea earlier where we cut a sponge up and she was pinching the sponges with the clothespin. Yeah, but it might not fall. Right. It might not fall. Super easy. She can do that. It might not come out. See if you can drop it out. Oh, that one worked. Yeah. Or she can maybe do coins or a button. Do you want to show them how you use both your hands? You pinch it and then you drop it in. Perfect. All right. And then one of the last things we have are I cut these off of one of those suction balls. <clears throat> and you can do this. They're pretty hard. So, yeah, let's show them. Yeah, I cut them off of a little suction ball so you can do them two different ways they're kind of hard you can take two and you can squish them together and they stick together and then you can work on pulling them apart with your pinchers and they're pretty hard or you can show them how you stick them on the plate here or this cookie sheet and then you got to hold it down and then pull it with your pinchers oh use pinch right here at the top pull it with that so pinch at the top Ugh. Oh. You hear that? You're gonna hear that pop. Yeah. So push. See if you can pop it off. That's hard. You got it. Oh, try again. Let's make it pop. So we want to hear it go like that. Ready? One, two, three. Pull. Make it pop. Oh, we got it. Yeah. All right, guys. I think that's it for our pre-buttoning, snapping, and buttoning tutorial. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye.